this is where we're staying. Hampton by Hilton. And we pulled up in the loading bay to check in and get our cases out. So guys, I'll show you around the room. As you come in, there's a space to hang your clothes. And the ironing board is just tucked in there. A little place to store your bag. Then there's like the coffee and tea station. With the kettle, there's the AC controls. There's a nice little fridge. There's a safe as well. Uh, hair dryer. And there's the iron. And then this is the room. There's a nice little seating area. Some nice pictures on the wall. There's lamps on the side, USB sockets. There's quite a large TV as well. Little seating area and a nice big window. There's a slight view of what I believe but not, not amazing from this room, but it's nice enough. And then this is the bathroom. Again, there's a nice picture on the wall. Toilet, pretty standard. It's the sink area, some toiletries, towels underneath. And there's the shower. Again, like that, some toiletries as well in the shower. So yeah, overall, it's a really nice room. Happy. Hi guys, as you've seen from our intro, we're in York today. Yeah, so today we're going to go and explore York Minster and the Shambles, and then we're just going to see where the day takes us. Yeah. We made it to the Shambles, so it literally took four minutes to walk here. It is now 20 past nine. We came early to get some pictures while it's empty, but um, we'll have to wait for these vans to leave. <laughs> so the shambles used to be where they used to have all meat stores, and I don't think it's possible to watch a York vlog without someone pointing out the old meat hooks. So I thought I'd have to put that in as well. This is a good time to come as well if you want some photos without too many people in there. It's uh, so pretty quiet. Oh, cool. Apparently this is one of the best medieval streets in the country. A lot of people rave about this sausage and pie shop. They're supposed to be really good and I think they sell out as well. So if you want one of those, you need to come quite early. It's not really my thing. However, fudge definitely is my thing. So I will get some fudge and let you know what that's like. So these are the flavors they have. We've gone for the honeycomb, so you can pick individuals and also they got bags you can just grab and someone's actually making it at the moment. So this street was rebuilt in the 1400s. How amazing is that? So some really interesting shops, like you can buy little ghost figurines and there's like Harry Potter shop, the chocolatiers there. Just really nice, cool, quirky shops you don't usually see. If you're Harry Potter fans like we are, this is a brilliant place to come and visit. It really feel, it does feel like Diagon Alley, doesn't it? It does a bit, yeah. It's amazing, yeah. it's so cool. And I'll go in, in the shop that must not be named. Wonder who shop this could be. We put all the ones in here as well. I love all the decoration in this store as well. They made a real effort to make it look amazing. And just behind the shambles is the shambles market. I'm not sure if this is on every day, but I'll just look how amazing this is. Now heading towards the city walls. If you want those Instagram pics at the shambles, it's definitely worth going early. Yeah. By the time we left about 10 o'clock, the, the, yeah. the street yeah. was pretty full, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, go around nine or just after nine to get those perfect Insta shots. <laughs> Look at the size of York Minster. I didn't expect it to be so big, I don't know why. It's a bit of a shame they got the scaffolding on there at the moment, but restoration is a must. So we came here quiet before going to the wall, so we thought we'd get some uh, pictures with less people in them. I really like York. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's so nice. Obviously, this is a really old building, but you can really see when you're up close why the scaffold is needed. Some areas are need restoration. A little bit of info for you as well. They call cathedrals in the north minsters. That's why this is York Minster instead of York Cathedral. We're going to go inside the York Minster later on, but we booked the latest slots. Um, yeah. thinking it'd just be a bit quieter. So I think, what time are we going inside? Half three, I think, we're inside. And yeah. then we've, we've got to walk at the tower at quarter past four, so we've got two separate time slots. Yeah, which should keep us fixed. I think there's a few hundred stairs to the top, isn't there? Yeah. 200 and something. But we like those old cathedral stair climbs. We've done them. Um, the yeah. one in Paris a few times. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. St. Paul's Cathedral as well. Oh yeah, I did St. Paul's yeah. Cathedral as well, which is probably the hardest one we've done, but yeah. We always find they're definitely worth doing because you get such a good view of the city from them. We're going to walk some of the city wall now. We probably won't do it all, but we'll see how we get on. This looks a bit scary. Oh, it does a bit. <laughs> is this the way? Yeah. This is I, interesting. I It's one way only because of the COVID stuff. But, yeah. Yeah. There wasn't any signs though, but. No, well, the we'll restrictions see. ended this weekend, didn't they? So. In England, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, step there. Nope. Great, so easy. Is this? Yeah. York Minster. We walked a bit of the wall and now we've come to the York Castle Museum. Um, we didn't book ticket, pre book tickets or anything. We just um, asked in reception if there's any tickets available, and there are tickets available for 12 o'clock. Yes. So it's not, it's about half hour's wait, so yeah. it's not too bad. Yes, yeah, so we're just chilling outside. Yeah, waiting to go in. People watching. And also, um, what's that called? Oh, Clifford's Tower. <laughs> Clifford's Tower. We wasn't sure whether we wanted to do it anyway. No. We didn't think we wanted to do it, but there's actually no choice because it's a. It looks like there's a major restoration yeah. um, project on the way. But um, I'll quickly show you that now. You can see this isn't open for tourists at the moment. It's quite a substantial restoration, it looks like, that's underway. And if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, there's a carousel here. <laughs> and there's Ashley over there. It's like a Victorian room, set on like the 1870s. And this one is from 1850. And this is the Georgian, round 1780. It's quite realistic, they like got smells and noises going on and the museum was interesting. I'd say the best thing about it was the Victorian Street. Yeah, it was pretty cool, wasn't it? Um, yeah. It's like a recreated Victorian street. Yeah. And um it was pretty well detailed as well and like they had the smells and stuff. Um yeah it was good. But now we are heading to Betty's tea rooms for tea. <laughs> Look at the queue. Betty's tea rooms it must be good. This is the menu. We got a long time to look at her. She's saying about 30 40 minutes away. So we've decided to go for afternoon tea. So we've gone for afternoon tea with a selection of sandwiches, scones, and some cakes as well. So afternoon tea at Betty's was a nice experience. Yeah. What was your favourite thing? The coronation chicken sandwich. Worst thing? 
the dark chocolate milk because it wasn't very nice. I don't like that either. I it, might... it, you probably like it if you like dark chocolate, but yeah. I don't like dark chocolate. Um, <laughs> but I really like the salmon sandwich and the scone or the scone. Yeah. Depending on how you say it. But that was really good as well. And the tea was really nice. Oh yeah, the tea. Yeah, the tea was lovely. Um, Betty's Tea House blend. Yeah, you don't usually comment on tea, do you? But no, yeah, but it, it was nice. it was yeah. a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> and now we're going in there. And we've got to make it to the top of there. Nice view from here. Amazing. So we're not even halfway yet. <laughs> Look how narrow this doorway is. Oh, that's a good uh, Euro graffiti. 1832. Oh, it's so tight, isn't it? Yeah. 200, 275. Hi. Oh, we made it. Oh. Well, it was worth it, wasn't it? We walked along this section. Of the city wall. And the city wall this morning. Yeah. There's a very nice house straight in front of us. Or... Mm -hmm. Possibly a hotel or something, but very nice gardens. And there's Clifford's Tower and the museum we're at this morning. York Minster was good, and um, the views from the top were yeah, was really good. It was well worth the 275 steps. <laughs> it was. Yeah, um, so we've had a little wander, and now we're going to grab some food. Turtle Bay, which is just there. Yeah, we came here because we got one of these in Cardiff and we've just been a bit lazy. So we know what we're going to get. But yeah, it's, it is cool in Turtle Bay. What have you got? I've got a rum runner, which is rum. Frozen black, dark rum, amaretto, blackberry, banana, lime juice. And it's nice. It looks nice. It is nice. And I'm boring, I don't drink, so I got a virgin pina colada, which is not nice. <laughs> So what did you get to start? I got the mac and cheese bites, and they look yummy. They do look nice. I went for the Trini doubles, which I'm going to test these against Ashley's dad's and see if they're authentic or not. Well, how were your Trini doubles then? Were they better than my dad's? They were nice, but not as nice as your dad's. No, I agree. I tried a little bit and I agree. My dad's was, was better. Uh, yeah, my mac and cheese bites were quite nice. They had a nice sauce. I'm not sure what it was, but it was nice. And for mains... I've gone for curry goat, which I've had before, which is, yeah. should be nice. It has been before. And I've gone for mobe chicken. Um, I can't remember what it is now. I think it's just chicken with like a creamy, lightly spiced sauce. That's nice. We're almost back at the hotel now, so yeah. thanks for watching. <laughs>